Thanks for watching JabsGoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. And today we actually have a special request for how to use an impeller puller. Mike? A customer contacted us and said, you know, you guys offer these impeller pullers. You've seen them in the field, but how do they work and are they really that useful? Well, we have the big 6400 pump here. Um, it does have a really large impeller. I'm just going to show you how useful these come in. Um, on some of the smaller pumps, like our, our smaller water puppies, um, sometimes you can pull the impeller out with your fingers, uh, and other times, if you can use a pair of needle nose uh, pliers, you can pull them out, but you risk breaking the veins. Um, and you kind of don't want to do that. The impeller pullers, and they actually have like these little tines that, uh, that grip into the rubber when you tighten down the, the set, set screws. And uh, what that does is it ensures that you're pulling the entire pull, uh, impeller out all at once. We're going to show you how to use one. So I'm going to get behind the camera, and Mike's going to take out the impeller. So Let's get started now. So, here we got the 6400 series engine cooling pump. It's got a big rubber impeller in there, and it also has a spline seal. So, before we pull out this impeller, pop out that spline seal, expose the end of that shaft. These bigger pumps, they'll sometimes have a little indent in there, and what that does, it's gonna help you line up the, the impeller puller. So what we'll do is we'll slide this in, as far as you can go. I'm going to tighten down on these wing nuts. Before we completely tighten those down, let's line up the, uh, the rod. Crank down on these, get it nice and tight. This way it bites into that rubber. And then just start cranking it out. These tools are great especially when it comes to impellers that are uh, stuck on shafts. Um, what this does is puts an enormous amount of pressure and just slides that impeller right out. Here we go. We're off the impeller. So we just showed you how to use one of our 50070 series impeller pullers. It's a pretty nice thing to have in your toolbox. And it's one of those tools where you're sure glad to have it when you need it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure you crank down on the two wing nuts on either side so that these little tines rip into the rubber. Um, and then crank down on the T-handle. It's going to slowly slide that impeller off the shaft. Um, there's not too many other things uh, to, to oh, think about. One more though, Mike. The one real important thing to get out of this is you really want to use an impeller puller because a lot of people when they try to remove impellers try to get in there and jimmy it with a screwdriver. I'm telling you don't do that. What that will do is that could damage the pump body and end up, you know, if you burn the pump body that could damage the impellers and then you'll start breaking off veins. At the end of the video we'll have a picture that will have the three impeller pullers available and that should cover most, of, you know, if not all of your impeller needs. Yeah. I think that pretty much wraps it up, Mike, right? I think so. I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Jeff Lander. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Jamsco Tech. Stay tuned. We'll have some more coming out for you.